In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you can do to boost your Ethernet speed and performance pretty much instantly. I'm Michael Scott and not the one from the office. These are our demands. This is what we want. Our balls are in your court. The first thing you want to do is a wired speed test. This will show what kind of speeds you are getting. As you go through these steps, always retest your wired speeds to see what works. All right, the first thing you should do if your Ethernet connected device isn't performing up to speed is check your cable type. Look at the cable jacket to see what kind of cable you're using. If it's a Cat5, replace it right away with a Cat5e or Cat6. Older or outdated cables can seriously slow down your speeds and even cause packet loss. So even that old Cat5e or Cat6 should be replaced. The next thing you want to do is check your Ethernet cable for damage. Take a look at the connections and the entire cable. If you see anything suspicious, replace that cable right away. If your Ethernet cable is not damaged, it's on to step 3. If your Ethernet is plugged into a router or switch, try switching ports to see if this improves your Ethernet speeds. If your speeds do not improve, then on to the next step. Next, let's bypass any switches and extenders. If your Ethernet goes through a switch, extender, or power line adapter, unplug it and plug it directly into the router's LAN port. If your speeds are still slow, then on to the next step. At this point, you want to restart your device that's having Ethernet speed issues. A simple restart can fix network adapter speed problems. If your speeds are still slow, then on to the next step. Now it's time to perform a network reset. Unplug your modem, router, and any and all switches in your home network. Wait for about 60 seconds, and then plug in the modem, and then the router, and then any switches. And guys and gals, please consider becoming a member of my YouTube channel. Your membership includes one free tech support question answered per month and automatic entry into any giveaways. And of course, your membership helps support our YouTube channel. Thanks. Next, you want to wait two to three minutes for your network to come back up to full speed. If your speeds are still slow, then on to the next step. Alrighty, it's time to disable power saving features on your PC or gaming console. Windows PCs love to save power, even if it means throttling your Ethernet port. To fix this issue, go to Device Manager, then Network Adapters, and then Power Management tab, and uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. If your speeds are still slow, then go on to the next step. Alright, next we're going to reset our network adapter. So go to Network and Internet, and go to Advanced Settings. Then click on Reset Network Adapter. Resetting your network adapter can resolve speed issues. If your speeds are still slow, then on to the next step. Now it's time to use the Network Adapter Troubleshooter, and see if this fixes your slow speeds. If your speeds are still slow, then on to the next step. Next, you need to update your network drivers and firmware on your device. Out-of-date drivers or firmware can cause slow Ethernet speeds. If your speeds are still slow, then on to the next step. Next, you want to disable your VPN and see if this works. VPNs can occasionally cause internet speed issues. If your speeds are still slow, then on to the next step. The last step is to check your device for malware. Scan for malware using Bitdefender or Malwarebytes. Both programs are very good. Now you should have maximum speed on your Ethernet connected device. However, if you still have an issue with your internet speed, then consider becoming a member of my YouTube channel. Your membership includes one free tech support question answered per month and automatic entry into any giveaways. So guys and gals, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. These are our demands. This is what we want. Our balls are in your court.